You know our next guest from the very popular Hulu series, Normal People. He played a people on that. Now he's nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor for his performance in the movie After Sun. You know, we could get you singing lessons if you wanted to learn to sing. Trying to tell me I can't sing? No, I'm just saying anyone can learn if they put in the work. Stop doing that. Doing what? Offering to pay for something when I know you don't have the money. Okay, come on. After Sun is available digitally now. Please welcome Paul Mesco. Very good to have you here. I, did I do? Did I pronounce your name correctly? Spot on. Good. Yeah. Thank you. I've been working on it all day because right. people want to say mezcal, right? Yeah. I mean, it's cooler, and I should probably adapt to mezcal, but uh, I'm stuck with mezcal. Yeah. You could be like um, Tila Tequila, you know, yeah, by yeah, changing yeah. your name. Yeah. Really be something. Mezcal's for mezcal. You. Yeah. I think if you want to make that switch, you've got to do it before the Oscars. Got to do it now. <laughs> I'm yeah. changing it to mezcal as of. Okay. Right here we now. go. Good. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. By the way, I want to tell you something. So today we have a little meeting. We talk about the guests that are on the show, mm -hmm. and um, one of the guys is like, "Is Paul like a like a like a popular with the with the ladies?" And my wife's like, "Yes, yes." Yeah. Like she's <laughs> nodding way too much. I was like, "All right," with the head. Will you mm -hmm. calm down already? Yeah. And then, sure enough, I mean, there's uh, young ladies here that brought your hey, they brought the book yeah. from normal people. <laughs> I, I don't know why they brought the book, but yeah. You didn't write that book, right? I didn't write that book. I mean, no, you're on no, the no. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's... Did you read the book? Many times. Many times, yeah. okay. All yeah. right, that's something, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I mean, thank you for bringing the book to the show. <laughs> By the way, that young uh, actor who uh, plays your daughter yes. in the movie, she's just great. She's insane. What is her name? Frankie Corio. Frankie Gory. She's well, going to take over the world, so just, yeah, she's... She'd never been in anything before this, no, right? No, it was her first... Film. How old is she? She was 11 when we shot. She's 12 now. And it's just, well, getting to, like, it's like the weird thing of, like, working. They say don't work with kids or animals. But, like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can only say that working with kids is great. You had fun like, with, yeah, I had working with them. Like, yeah. you never expect. It's the weird thing of, like, as an adult, you never really get to hang out with, like, kids who aren't like your cousins. Yeah, or your nephews. <laughs> and we were working like yeah. so closely together and it was like the last thing that I was expecting was to become friends with a 12 year old. You've continued to re like a friendship relationship yeah, we're, with we're her? we're really close now. She's like, she was messaging me the other day when I uh, presented with Sendaya at the SAGs and she was like, you presented with a goddess. That got lots of brownie points. Oh, with, she was excited yeah, about yeah, that. She was very, very Is excited. she excited about the Oscars? Does she even know like well, any of this stuff? She's kind of like, Playing it cool. She's like, yeah, you're going over the Oscars. That's really cool. But when am I going to see you next? So, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, nice. She's great. Who will you bring to the Oscars with you? My mom's coming with me. Oh, all right. Okay, so yeah. mom's coming with Yeah, clap for mom. <laughs> she's great. Yeah. She is, uh, she's so excited. Did she pick out a dress yet? She is, yeah. Did you she help has. her with that? No, I wouldn't trust myself with that. She, right. There's more important people who decide on what she should wear. But, um, do you have to worry about your mother um, I do mingling? a little bit. It's not so much mingling. She's really good at that. It's more so when, like, anybody... So she came with me, her and my dad came to the BAFTAs, and any time anyone would mention their partner or loved ones in a speech or got remotely emotional, she would just go... Woof. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I was like, it, like... My mother is one of the most spectacular women in the world, but it's <laughs> the pressure of, like, you don't know these people, Mum. You can't... <laughs> Like, she, she would cry watching the, like, Kardashians at home. I see. Oh, she yeah. would. That's, that's where she's... Wow, you guys have the Kardashians out there, My too. My mom has it. I, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow, that's really yeah. spread like a virus, hasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You got a lot of fellow Irishmen um, uh, yeah. in, at the Oscars this year. I mean, yeah. it's like, like uh, I think, like, 30% of the nominees are from Ireland. Yeah, it's... Do you know each other? We know each other by, like, not, not really, but now as the kind of, like, award season has kind of... Come, brought you together? Brought us together, yeah. Like, I, I knew Martin McDonough a little bit and getting to know Colin and Brendan and Kerry. It's like... 
I, I don't know, it's just, it's bananas. It's like there's so many of us. Yeah, there <laughs> are. It's like all of the Irish actors. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know, it's weird. Cause yeah. yeah, we don't like at your or at the BAFTAs, there are no Americans even allowed. You can't even no. come to the show. Yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> Sorry. And yet I doubt it, really, yeah. you know? <laughs> and through all this, with all this craziness being nominated for an Oscar, which obviously is something you didn't expect was gonna happen, you've been oh. doing a play in London. Yeah. And, um, and now, because you're nominated, are people like, uh, like paying special attention to the play? Are celebrities coming to visit you at the play? It's been, yeah, it's been a like, pretty um, starry backstage. We had, a, we had Nicole Kidman came to the, the play. And, oh, wow. Yeah, it was pretty How cool. How does that work? Does she come before or after the it, show? It works as in like somebody in the cast spots them in the audience is like, holy. Oh, you didn't know? No, Nicole. I didn't know she was in. And then she came backstage and I was sharing a dressing room with Ralph and Eduardo and we're getting changed and like we're in our underwear. And like, <laughs> I, I, I'm not even lying. This happened. We hear a knock on the door and we thought it was like the stage manager or something. And I go to like open the door and it's like Nicole Kidman standing there in like sweaty underwear. <laughs> like, and then the, like the, the, you think the next smart step is like put on some trousers, but there's something like incredibly undignified about the act of, you know, it's not like a look you want to be not causing, in front of like Nicole bent Kidman, over, sure, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So then like you kind of half pull on your trousers and you're kind of chatting about the play and you like, <laughs> Hulk, and you're like, thanks for coming. The door shuts, and you're just turning to each other, like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, yeah. When Nicole Kidman is in her seat at uh, during a play, is she um, talking to the screen about the magic of um, um, film? <laughs> is that very good? Or is that just for the thing? No, I, I think that's just for the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you have a speech prepared for the Oscars? I, I mean. I should prepare one just in, just in case because I had to give a speech before where I wasn't expecting it and ended up just oh, you had saying to, words you had that to wing made it? no sense. Yeah, yeah I, I winged it. Well, at the very least, you need to write down a list of the people that you want to yeah. mention because yes. then if you forget somebody, it's in, and they tell you, yeah, don't worry, you can go and go to the thank you cam and then it's you know online yeah. for eleven people for to see it. But you don't, <laughs> yeah. you want to? No, I want to like. Thank the people. If, if it happens, thank the people that deserve to be thanked. Yeah. yeah. Should we thank them now, just in case? Yeah, just in case. Thanks, yeah. Mom. You think Mom? Um, that's it, yeah. What about Dad doesn't get oh, a yeah, mention? Dad. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Oh, poor Dad. <laughs> yeah, poor Dad. <laughs> yeah. So Dad doesn't get to come to the show. No, Dad is coming, but I think he's, like, sitting up in the nosebleed. Oh, please. really? Yeah, it's pretty savage. It's like you get one person, and <laughs> Mom had it, like, locked down for a long time. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, sure, you came out of her. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you came out of him, too, I mean, technically. It, yeah. <laughs> it's a real nesting egg it's situation. A, but I mean, I think one involves more pain. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, well, we've covered yeah. a lot of territory. We've covered, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing you at the Oscars, and congratulations. Yeah. That's just fantastic. Thanks very much. Very well deserved. The movie, if you haven't seen it, see it, it's called After Sun. It's on digital platforms now. Paul Meskel, everybody. We'll be back with Paliucci's.